guys, I want to talk to you today about a question that I do get asked quite a lot um, and that is why did I name my business Sugar and Sloth? Um, okay, so there is a little story behind the business. Um, so when I first started out as an illustrator, I decided to call myself Kittens and Cake. Um, and I started out in the scariest way possible because I wasn't online or anything, I just literally rocked up at craft shows um, and met the general public, which is why it was quite scary. Um, and on the craft show like list, there would be all the stalls and there would be kittens and cake and people would turn up to my stall expecting to buy cake um, and I would have to disappoint them because I just had illustrated gifts, um, not cake at all unfortunately. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so I realised that name wasn't super appropriate. Um, I mean also I just randomly picked it because it was two things that I liked. Um, and also yeah, it probably didn't reflect the business too well because um, one of the first products I ever made I actually have behind me. Um, I don't have them, I don't sell them at the moment although I'm getting some more cushions in for Christmas, I'm quite excited. Um, but yeah, it is a super sweary unicorn cushion. Um, <laughs> it says this, so people would rock up to the kittens and cake stand um, and just be met with the big F words. <laughs> so it didn't really gel so much. Um, so I knew I had to change the business name. So basically what I did was I just wrote down millions, of, well not millions, um, I just filled like pages and pages there, like a lot um, of my notebook over a few days of just every random possible name I could think of. Um, and that's how I came up with Sugar and Sloth because the reason I've named my business that is because I feel like there's kind of two parts working hopefully in cohesion and um, so there's the super sweet um, illustrated animals um, and then there is the dark sweary you know talking about anxiety and mental health element um, so I wanted to reflect that by using sugar for the super sweet element um, and then sloth because sloth is um, a animal known for being lazy but it's also a deadly sin so I really like that that it is a cute animal but also um, you know it has this darker meaning um, so that's why I call my business sugar and sloth so I named my business four years ago um, and sloths were not a trendy animal. It is a blessing and it is a curse that sloths are now quite fashionable. I would not have named my business, um, I would not name my business sloth today because they are fashionable. Um, just because that means that if something is fashionable, maybe in a few years it's gonna become unfashionable. Um, so we'll just have to see. Um, I'm not gonna change the business name now because I've already paid for the trademark and it was expensive. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if I was naming my business again today, um, I wouldn't call it Sugar and Sloth, although I do love the name and it has stood me well and it hopefully will stand me well um, going forward. Um, I would actually call it, I definitely wouldn't call it after anything that is really trendy because you want to stay away from that. Um, but I would actually call my business just Anita Perry um, because when I first started, I'm always like super shy um, and introverted, but online like I do push myself and you know I try and obviously talk about my business and stuff and do videos like this but yeah very much in the beginning I was not doing any video I was very much hiding behind like the illustrations in the business like, I wasn't um showing my face even photos of my face um so I definitely wanted to have a name that wasn't my name but now like how the business has evolved it is just very much based on my personal experience as I have um come to realise and showing my face that I am the brand is super important because that's literally what it is. Um, so yes, I would call it my name um, if I was doing it now, but I don't have any plans to change um, because that is a whole load of faff anyway. Uh, but yeah, that is a question that I get asked so I wanted to share with you. Um, also, if you do have a business and you're wondering, oh, should I trademark my business? Um, I'm gonna do a little video on that. Um, which may help you out. Uh, it's going to be about uh, being in the UK because that's my experience in the UK and um, so obviously it will be different if you live overseas but it might still be worth a watch. That will be coming up soon at some point um, over the next few weeks. So thank you so much for watching and as always if you do have any questions please drop them in the comments below and if you want to see more videos like this then please do subscribe. Thank you.